messed up for some reason. There it is. <laughs> Alright, welcome to uh, the second episode of our Dolmenwood backup campaign. We usually play Dungeons and Dragons, but Jesse is not feeling well. So, uh, let's see, last, it's been a long time since our first episode. Um, we have three characters. Uh, Minimus, Jaki, and Madrum. Uh, can you guys remember anything about your characters? You wanna you wanna tell us a little bit about them? I'm not even sure which one was mine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. I'm opening it right now. Uh, I remember. Yeah. <clears throat> I remember I was a, a ship builder who uh, knows some gaff goat speak. Oh. Remember that? Yeah. I do remember that. That's right. That was Modrum average drive. Very average in my stride. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys had um, we started in the town of Prigwart. Um, you guys had been approached by a couple of monks that re uh, required uh, a um, uh, escort to the monastery not too far outside of town. So you did that. On your way back though you got um, kind of uh, lost in the woods and you ended up finding this weird clearing with a giant oak tree uh, with a hole in it and like the adventurers yeah. you are you descended into that hole and had all sorts <clears throat> of uh, crazy adventures mm -hmm. um, there's not a hole that our group will not go in <laughs> <laughs> um, yes Keep it big enough to fit so um <laughs> I think the last thing you guys had done was kind of negotiate with this ogre. Uh, uh, and then I have it down that you guys were in the Hall of Kings. Uh, and uh, Chris uh, Modrum has used his spell for the day, but Minimus has not. Um, and also that you I have written down here that you are probably about to run out of a torch. So, uh, one thing I didn't do last episode, but I'm going to try to do this this uh, episode, is to keep track of turns. So basically a turn is like uh, 10 minutes or so. Um, so every, every combat encounter is a turn. Every time you investigate something that seems like, seems like it would take more than 10 minutes, I'll check off a turn. And then after six of those, your torches, you have to mark off another torch. Your torch goes out, you have to light another torch. And then there might or there might not be also some wandering monster rolls that I'll make. Um, so yeah, I'll, I'll try to keep to remember to do that. Um, yeah, let's see. I, a couple of things have, have changed since last time. Uh, I installed the module that includes all of the um, SRD stuff. So your characters should now have like real weapons and all of that stuff. Um, I also adjusted it so that it's doing the ascending AC correctly. Um, I didn't realize that was a setting in the uh, module. And yeah, that's. And I'll, oh, yeah, and I also have the map ready. So let's try to switch over to that. <coughs> nice. If I remember correctly, I got breathed on by the ogre and I lost one intelligence. That's right, point. yeah. You were permanently um, <laughs> not quite as smart now after having... It was already that. low. Now it's even lower. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, yeah, so you, uh, you didn't start a fight with him, though, uh, and you were able to escape back into this room. Now, uh, this room... Uh, let me read you the description of it real fast. So it's made out of stone blocks with the walls and ceilings, 10 foot tall ceilings. The floor is also made out of stone blocks. And there's these worn and crumbling statues of ancient kings along this left hand side. That's what the, uh, the stars are. I don't know why it's not showing up on mine. You should be able to see to the south because you guys came in from the south. Can you see that? Yeah. No. I know. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't see myself yeah. either. I don't see my own token. Yeah. So you guys came through. Can you see that? Because I. Yep. Um, Is that our party? The skull. Yes. Yeah. Okay. 
you guys came through this, uh, hit this um, trap there, and then you'd come in out of this area here, and then um, come through here, and then we come all the way oops, to where you guys originally came in. Uh -oh. Yeah, we went through some room where we um, paid for information and got yeah. shitty information. I think that was right here where these roots are. No, the roots are where they the roots tried to steal something from you. And then yep. I think this mm -hmm. room right here is where you talk to the faces. Mm -hmm. And then I actually think you moved down. Actually, we did. We moved all the way. Down we started to go. We started going into some cavern, but we turned back. Yeah, and then you turned. You backtracked here, and then went. Uh, Saw the dead adventurer, but still sprung the trap. <laughs> um, <laughs> we, we all learned very well. And then, so you can Apart see for the course. <laughs> there's three doors on that one. You guys had opened this and gone in here with the ogre yep. uh, at the very end of the session last time. <clears throat> and yeah, so you've basically got passageway to the north, um, two other doors in here, mm -hmm. actually three other doors. In here, and then you can always backtrack. Is this a Didn't the ogre? Or... S oh, no, sorry, it's a door. Ahead. That's a door. Oh, okay. Didn't the ogre say something about where he kind of told us where we need to go up somewhere up north, follow the passage up north? So if I remember correctly, let's see. Let me find the ogre. Uh, you might, you guys might have asked him about. I don't remember what you asked him about now. I don't remember either, but he said something about water up north. Yeah, I think, yeah, he definitely told you that there is a underground stream uh, or underground river to the north. Yeah. I think we should keep pushing north because that's what we were talking about last time. What do you guys think? Or do you want to check out, these, yeah. check out these rooms that are here that first? Good. All right. So did someone light a new torch? Did you mark off another torch? I can't. We just need one of us, right? Yeah. All right, as I'll, as one I'll mark it off. I got it. There we go. All right. So you can move north. Passageway comes to a 90 degree angle. <clears throat> hey, look, there's hmm. water up there. Yeah, it looks like there's a door here straight ahead and then a passageway to the north. We hmm. check the passageway to the north. Sure. Follow the easy yeah. path. All right, hold on one second. I don't have my map. Where did it go? Okay, so you know. Okay, so you're going up, you're going north? Yep. Alright, All right, so you reach a natural cavern. Uh, it's about eight foot high, so there's still uh, yeah, there's a lot of juggling after this this one stupid map. Um, so you're still with you're still underground. Uh, it's an eight foot tall ceiling, uh, but this this water rushes down the center of the room. Uh, it looks very fast running. There's like a sandy beach um, here where you're standing, uh, and it's streaked with what looks like fish guts. Um, so also along the passage wall, um, there are chalk scrawlings basically so there's like two foot tall letters um, that says feed the FIS and then after that the chalk has been smeared off but there's at least one more word after that please feed the fish 
Can I kick some of the guts into the into the river? Sure. Yeah, it. Uh, you get you splash a little water on you as you do, and it's very cold. Uh, <laughs> and, and the guts themselves uh, seem to be get caught up in this fast fast running current and go whoosh, just right on down. Well, I don't think I'm that good of a swimmer. Yeah. <laughs> we don't see anything on the other side either, right? A rock. Just rock wall. Yeah. I'm good. <laughs> Unless we had some kind of boat thing, I think we're kind of stuck here. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Go back. Let's go check out that room that's that's right down there. Yeah. Okay. There's lots of dead fish in here. <laughs> I opened the door. I don't know if I was supposed to. I, I shut it, but the vision was, the vision was vision fine. It's fine. Well, yeah, I mean, are you opening it? I did, yeah. yes, and then I yeah. felt guilty. Okay. So, yeah, so this is a big stone room um, made out of stone blocks. The ceiling's 12 foot tall. Uh, immediately, as soon as you open the door, the stench of... Uh, fishy carrion just like hits you in the face and it's, it's almost enough to make you barf it's just horrible uh, there are rusty chains hanging from the ceiling uh, just above the height of your heads and there's decomposing fish just hooked on those chains and there's fish bones lying all over the floor um, you see in the back of the room three troglodytes uh, sitting, sitting around uh, on the ground, just uh, guzzling this nasty rotten fish. Uh, and as they, uh, let's see, wait, let me read about them. Yeah, and actually, uh, as you as you walk in, you notice that uh, on the faces. Uh, there are these there are the I mean on the 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 walls near the center of the room uh, are these giant six foot tall faces uh, and they're just like they're they're just their mouths are hanging open but they just like look like normal human faces uh, there's actually three of them uh, let me see if I can record it. Well, I can't point it because you can't see the you can't your vision doesn't quite reach the back of the room, but they're just on the back of the room. Uh, so yeah, as you walk, as you open the door, all three of the troglodytes turn around and look at you. the The first one to stand up is is the largest one, and he's got one eye. And then the other one is a uh, behind. The second one is a is kind of an albino looking uh, creature, and then there's a, a smaller one uh, as well uh, that just sort of is just kind of giggling for some reason. <laughs> um, and the large one says, Hey there, what are you doing? Should we just shut the door and like go back where you them? <laughs> Sorry. Kenny Graham, bye. <laughs> <laughs> go back and hide back behind the corner to the water. Maybe we throw him in the water. <laughs> Did the, the ogre tell us his name? Because we charm person, I don't remember if he... Uh, yeah, was. he probably did. Um, I don't remember what it was, but uh, let's see if it's listed here. Okay, that was that was the spell I used last time. Yeah, we'll just say his name's Clegg. Clegg said he's tired of your shit and wants you to get this place cleaned up immediately. What? What does Clegg have anything to say about what are we? We're, we're leaving it. Well, he hey. said if you don't get it cleaned up, you're his next snap. He's gonna. He looks like he's going to attack. Hey, I, don't, I'm just the messenger, man. <laughs> I don't care if you clean up. In fact, I think it smells kind of nice in here. He kind of stops. Oh, you do, do you? Care to join us? <laughs> yeah, sure. I, I reached out and like to uh, ride a fish and, you know, 
from my finger along it, but then right before I put it in my mouth, I switched the other finger. <laughs> mm, that's good. <laughs> Why are you? He's going to take a swing at you. All right, let's <laughs> we'll him. All right, good so try. We'll... <laughs> All right, let's uh, roll initiative. So you're going to, uh, one of you will roll a d6 for um, for the your, your side's initiative. And I will. Okay. Roll d6. Damn it, Clegg's name doesn't carry much weight in this yeah, place. All right, so I will go first. Now, it didn't seem to impress them much. All right, so the first thing we're going to do, uh, let's see. So this is going to be actually our first time actually fighting. Yep. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's, let's review the rules real fast. <clears throat> actually... Just got the books. So. Combat. Okay, okay, so first we have to declare spells. Uh, is anybody going to cast a spell this turn? Yes, I am. Okay. Now we each roll a d6. We did that. The winning side is going to do. Uh, morale, which you don't have to worry about, then movement, missile attacks, spell casting, and melee attacks, and then, then the next side. Then you guys will go. Um, so. Um, I think I have created these guys. Let me see. guys all as yeah we'll just we'll just wing it so the first guy um old what did i say his name was did i say his name no well he says it as he rushes in towards you uh old greg is gonna smash you and he takes a swing at minimus um Mr. He's just going to try to use his claw. That's a hit. Oh, three, three points of damage. What's the maximum health? So I'm down at one point. <laughs> so you smash. Oh. He smashes you, and you fly backwards, hit the wall, Ooh. and I think that's going to disrupt your spell casting as well. We'll double check that in a minute. Uh, the, th the second one is going to uh, swing at Jackie uh, with his claw. Oops, why is it? <clears throat> and miss. Uh, nope. And then the last one, he's just going to go, <laughs> get him, get him, get him, Greg, get him. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the spell... <laughs> to bring these characters to life, man, I love it. The spellcaster must be able to speak and move hands, so I can move movement line of sight. If a spellcaster loses initiative and is successfully attacked or fails a saving throw before their turn, the spell being cast is disrupted and failed. Ooh, it is removed from the memory as if it had been cast. Cast. So, well, mm. that sucks. Well, that's a load of that's, shit. That's harsh. Um... Okay, but you guys can still attack uh, or still do your actions uh, however you, in whatever, every, any order you want to. So it makes the assumption that we're you're charging the spells up even before you start combat? Yeah, yeah. You wow. Well, when we announced it at the beginning of a round, that's <clears throat> like you're, you're memorizing it, you're starting to cast it. Um, Alright, so who would like to go oh, first? I guess, I guess I'll roll attack with my sword. Um, I guess the big guy. <laughs> Let's do a attack and sword roll. <clears throat> His AC is a 14, so that is a hit. Whoa, you do 9 damage? <laughs> uh, were you swinging at Big Greg or the or the other one? Uh, the, the biggest dude, yeah. Okay. 
All right. Yeah, you like what? What are you using a sword? Yeah. Yeah, your sword. Yeah, you just like slash him. He's like one of his arms is just barely hanging on. He's like ah, <laughs> like green like <laughs> gores like. <laughs> Ah! It's like all right. like fish and troglodyte guts. <laughs> Madroon or Minimus, would you like to go next? No, I'll, I'll, I'll take a swing. And by swing, I'm going to throw my dagger at the laughing hyena in the back. Okay. Sure. <laughs> uh, I don't know how to do this. Thing, so. it, says, it says it's ranged. Uh, melee and missile. Missile thrown or fired. How far? What is what is short distance? Five to ten feet. I think the these are five. Any, five foot squares. Le, uh, medium is eleven to twenty, and long is twenty-one to thirty. Uh, okay, so short is plus one to hit for short. Medium is no nothing, and long is minus one. So <clears> yeah, chuck it through downtown. I, I mean, you can run forward. We won't mark, we won't do it on the map, but if you want to run forward before you do it, you before you throw it, you you, you can. You'll just be putting yourself out in front of your companions nope. nope i'm just gonna lob it you know and uh see how <laughs> three quarter <laughs> kobe yeah. <laughs> yeah he's he's still sort of giggling but he notices greg and he's like oh man are you okay greg <laughs> so, i don't know how to i don't know how to attack <clears throat> uh, you should just be able to click oh. your combat no knife yeah you go go to your inventory and click yeah, on the pictures <laughs> oh melee missile there we go missile a road Nothing. And that is a miss. So he's like, "Hey, Greg, Greg, hey, hey, uh, whoa, hey, what, what was that for?" That would have done a lot of damage. I'm not gonna hit him. Right. Minimus, what would you like to do? Yeah. So the the one that's closest to us, the, the stat, you know, he hit first. I'm gonna take my dagger and, and go for him quick. Okay. Natural twenty. Oh, that oh. is a critical hit. Oh, it was a nineteen. I'm sorry. It was no, a but it 20. was a natural twenty because it subtracted one because you have a minus oh. one on your. So yeah, go ahead and is there a critical? Right, I'll see a way to do critical. Just add another d4. Uh, roll it. Roll a d4. Oops. Oh, let me pull it. There it goes. Uh, nice. Shit, do the first so one. Seven. No, you're going to... Oh, wait. You rolled 2d4. Yeah. Instead of 1d4. It, the first, it was a three. Okay, so five points total. Yep. All right, so yeah, you you smack... You have a mace, right? Oh, no, you have a dagger. No, it's a, it's a dagger. Okay. Yeah, yeah, you you go at that guy, and he's like, ah! So you cut another big gash. All right, big gash. He's He has not been injured. But yeah, he's definitely hurting as well. Um, all right, so now next round. Uh, I don't think anybody has any spells, right? That was your only spell. Yeah, that's it. I'm done. All right, so somebody roll a d6 for me. Carl, you got it? Oh, yeah, I can do it. Uh, all right. <laughs> Uh, either or both has a roll again, or actually both. Uh, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna say you guys go first. So, you guys can decide what you want to do. Well, I'll take another side. swipe at him with my dagger. Mm -hmm. Okay, you're attacking old Greg. Yep. That Seven. is a miss. So you you hit him with your with your dagger, but like it doesn't seem to get through his tough like troglodyte skin. He just says, "Ah ha ha!" Try hitting him again. Oh, that is a hit. Cool. <laughs> so you're attacking the uh, not old Greg and not Giggler, but the other guy, right? The big guy, yeah. Yeah, you just yeah. that ten points. You ha hack his head right off. He. Uh, <laughs> It's like he he turned around to look at Minimus attacking you know his boss and then and then his, before he can even get his head back around, you just hack it right off. 
Alright, Mudroom? So, I don't think I have a dagger anymore. <laughs> oh, you threw your own dagger? I kind of throw it. Kind of threw it. Yeah, unless I have like a stack of them. What do you, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, not I unless you bought them. Yeah, whatever's on your character sheet. But it does say that in my mystical magic pouch, I have a 10 foot long wooden pole. So maybe I can bring that out. Smack somebody with it. <laughs> Unfortunately, that's Just keep not. Wait, it. wait! Keep didn't it. you cut your pole in half? Yeah, you have two five feet. Yeah. I have two I five foot poles. Oh. We don't. I don't have that in my thing. So how are we gonna do this? I'm gonna run up there and beat the shit out of the, the laughing dude. Like, right. <laughs> okay. Yeah, just just make a regular old melee attack. <laughs> you can just use it as your dagger. You use your dagger okay. one. That's fine. Uh, I think it'll be fine. Oh, that's a hit. For one point of damage. That was one though. That was only one. I mean, I'm swiping with two of them. That's like two rolls, right? Do you have proficiency uh, in environmental? I don't have that at all. Dual welding, martial weapons. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, he's like, ha, 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 ha. and then he sees his buddy die, and he's like, oh no! And then whack, you come over and hit him right in the head. And he's like, ha, ha. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So it's their turn. Uh, old Greg is gonna take another swipe at Minimus. Uh, <laughs> Goodbye, fellas. <laughs> Man, I must no. So this time he's gonna try to bite you with his with his. Uh, with his teeth. Oh, I have lots of fat. I have a little bit of that. Oh, he That's misses. Mess. He's like he probably could have smacked you, uh, you know, with his claw, like you know, no problem. But instead, he tries to bite you to like savor the the victory, you know, and he just <laughs> totally misses. All right, so Giggler's gonna attack. Uh, Giggler. <laughs> Uh, that is... What's your armor class? Uh, I'm sure that's more than nine, right? Ten? <laughs> okay, it misses. <laughs> he swipes at you, and it's like, it, it catches the edge of your robes just a little bit. Um, okay, that's it for them. Too fast for you, kid! <laughs> now we'll do another d6 for uh, initiative. D6. Oh. Uh-oh. Oh yeah, so we have one initiative. Um, I do think I need to do morale because they did see their buddy die. Uh, let me look Must do morale. Let's see page twenty nine. Okay, so he needs to roll equal to or lower than his morale score, which is morale score. Uh, maybe that's what ML is. Okay, so he went, he needs to roll a nine or lower. Uh, two D on two D six. Okay. Or he's going to run. So we'll start with the not giggler, uh, which uh, his name is actually oh her name is Nancy. Nancy <laughs> Fingers the albino. <laughs> Nancy Fingers. Wait, not Nancy Fingers the albino. So this is for Nancy Fingers the albino. Uh, oh, she runs. I feel like there's supposed to be a comma or a space there or something. <laughs> now this one's for Giggler. Okay, Giggler stands to fight. Nancy is running. So, um, just just to clarify, we have Nancy. What was what was her name? Nancy, Nancy Fingers. Blood? She uh, Nancy Fingers the Giggler. No, Nancy Fingers and the, is one, and Giggler is the other. Oh, that's right. Nancy Fingers, the albino, and the Giggler is what we have left. That's what we have, right? Nancy Fingers, comma, albino, and Giggler. <laughs> okay. okay, they won initiative. Uh, Giggler will attack Modrome again with a claw. A block with my stick. <laughs> Uh, 
Uh oh, that's a hit for one point of damage. Okay. He just sort of backhands, backhands you. And then he, the one uh, on the left is our the little cup is our hit points, right? Yeah. Okay, do it. Good. I only have six hit points. So. Yeah, same here. All right, well, so I'm down to one. That's his <laughs> turn. Your guys' turn. Well, I'm going to stab at the the one in front of me, the the big one again. Well, no, the the big one is. He ran, right? Oh no, no, I'm wrong. I don't. I'm I'm thinking it wrong. Old Greg is still there. Uh, right? So it was old Greg must have been the one that what, that took off running. Not Nancy. Oops. Nancy already got killed. So are you are you going to try to hit the one that's... I mean, he's obviously turning to flee. Or you could... No, no, no. The I'm going to... One, the one that's staying that stay fighting. The okay. one in the back of me, the giggler. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's another hit. Kill him. Kill him. That's three points of damage, which means she he is still up. Which is good, because I want to kill him by bashing his skull in with my stick. <laughs> okay. <laughs> roll for stick. Inventory, roll for stick. Roll. Mm, that's oh, wow. not going to do it. Can I spin around him and pick up my dagger? Uh, yeah, you know what? I'll say as he walked over there, his dagger was like stuck in his clothes, and as he walked over there, it fell out, clattered right. to the ground at your feet. So, still near him, just like maneuvering around him to pick up the, pick up the dagger. You know? Yeah, yeah. Or you could roll dexterity and see if you do something cool, like you know, catch it on the front of your foot and like flip it up and, the... and then stab it in the face with it. I'm down. Well, it, it would just oh, look cooler. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'll take a swing at him too. Okay. Ooh. Oh, that's a hit. <coughs> Three points. That's exact. That's Ow. exactly what you needed to kill him. So uh, you're using his sword. So yeah, you just go right in his back. Giggle. He he giggles one final time and then twitches. <laughs> So old Gregist uh, has is heading, uh, he's heading to the uh, west, where there you can see. Uh, actually, you probably can't see. Let me move you a little bit further into the room. Can I throw my dagger at him? Try uh, right in the back. Yeah, let me. Uh... Yeah, so he's running for this door. Uh, yeah, go ahead and make. Uh, one last attack roll to see if you can do it. Nope. No. I just threw my dagger at the, at the wall. Uh. Just appreciate it. So he opens this door, rushes through it, and then slams the door behind him. Do we follow or just go elsewhere? Y'all take the lead. I am fucked up. <laughs> mm. I mean, yeah, I can follow. We can all go. You can stay in the back. Oh, let's chase. Okay. Let's chase. So you rush out this door and you see kind of a T-junction. Uh, there's a door here and then the passageway continues north here and then uh, actually I think that's it. Can we hear anybody running down one of these? Can we hear like Craig running away down one of them? Or? Yeah, you can actually you can see um, you can see prints kind of in the dusty stones here or uh, you know on the dust in the stone or the, in the dust on the stones that looks like he ran this way let's go get him okay. all right you rush down this way And he is like, uh, he's like right here. 
Um, you can just barely see as you come down. Let me move this one. Let's see. This is. Um, so you can see what well, looks like another one of those natural caverns. Uh, the ceiling's eight foot tall, rushing river down uh, behind him there. Uh, and there's a sandy beach that he has run to. And uh, yeah, you can still sort of see what looks like uh, maybe a corpse laying in on the beach a little ways down. Um, and you can see at the eastern end of the bay, there's a bunch of what looks like bones or driftwood. And out drifting out in the current is uh, what looks like a boat. And it kind of looks like maybe this is where uh, old Greg is, is running towards. Uh, but he when, he when he realizes you guys have caught him, he kind of turns around and he's breathing hard. He's covered in blood. Uh, Dang, yeah, he, says, he says, fine. I'll take one of you with me at least. All you have to do is clean up the room, dude. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, do we want to roll for initiative then? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I got gotcha. you. Ooh, a six. Oh, I roll a six too. I'll let you guys go first though, because I'm such a nice guy. Can I say I think it looks like you need to get cleaned up and like kind of push him into the river? <laughs> yeah, you can do that. <laughs> or throw him yes. into the river. Yeah, make a melee, make a melee attack, just a random uh, attack roll. If you hit him. Up. It's, uh, it's, uh, where do I do that? Just a regular one. Um. You can just roll with your whatever your sword would be, I think. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm gonna say that's that's close enough for a hit. He's uh, not really he's severely injured. Yeah, so you just say, you know, you need, you need to get clean. <laughs> Kick it. He goes <laughs> hits the water. You can see like what looks like maybe bones kind of fly up uh, off the beach as he uh, as he falls in and then he's like swept off of the of the current actually I think it's that way swept down he's like Aah! and you lose sight of him uh, you move a, move you a little bit closer in here you kind of see what the river looks like let's investigate the corpse Yeah, this looks like a fairly fresh, pars partially dismembered corpse. Uh, and uh, it has, it's, it looks like you, it used to be wearing plate mail, but it's been slightly destroyed. And as you're kind of looking at it, it starts kind of twitching, and then its eyes shoot open, and it goes, <laughs> and it lunges at the, the nearest one of you. Uh, which I think is going to be minimus. Um, <laughs> oh no! Oh, Motherfucker! Let's uh, let's go ahead and roll a son of a bitch. Initiative. Fast. Six. Just had to poke the bear, huh? <laughs> All right, so he's going to get one swing at you with its claw. Uh, how big is this corpse, or this piece of corpse? So it looks like his legs are completely gone. It's like just uh, a torso with arms and stuff? Yeah. Uh, so huh. he's going to do... Let's see. Uh, trying to read the... I didn't create this one, so I'm going to have to... Right. 
Yeah, so he's going to attack Venomous. Wait, I'm going to roll two. What? Hold on, let me roll, roll it again. Yep, it's a hit. It's a hit. Uh. How does, how does dying work in this game? <laughs> We're about to find out. <laughs> and that's exactly for the, for the one. zero. He just, yeah. I am at zero. I right. just had to roll the so dice. So he lunges like, out, <laughs> smacks you with his claw, which is enough to knock you down and just like, like you're just unconscious in the, in the sand. Uh, let me look at how I die. Rolling for damage. Uh, okay, it's not in the combat section. There we go. Oh, a character or monster reduced to zero hit points or less is killed. <laughs> Done. Yikes. Y'all yeah. have a good night. <laughs> Peace. Uh, I'm going to say that I mean, there's lots of house rules for uh, old school d and I'm going to say you, you're, you have to get into the negatives to die. Um, do we have any do we have any health potions though? I don't think so. <laughs> no. I have a left glove and a left. Glove. I got a potion of a detect, a detecting powder, caraway buns and cheese, and a jug of ale. Hmm. Well, your buddy might be dead, or he might not be dead, but there's still uh, a half ghoul kind of clawing his way. Uh, what, what else is on this beach? Is he's there going, like, ah, a rock? Ah, any ah. rocks or anything on this beach? A box? No rocks. Like rocks. something that I could, like tie him to or something uh yeah there's some there's yeah it's a sandy rocky beach uh, it's also a lot of driftwood uh, there's a big pile of driftwood at the end of the the bay uh, oh, i guess i guess what i was what i was thinking on the last cave here it said feed the fish with something so i was thinking i have a grappling hook and rope i could just shove the grappling hook through his chest and chunk his ass in the water <laughs> <laughs> and then tie him go, off somewhere so he's it. like bait and then he'll catch whatever is in the water but that was prior to Minimus going down that doesn't seem like a good idea now so, um, but we gotta kill this guy so I'm gonna smash it to hit my stick okay yeah. he's already gone so uh, it's it's uh, your guy's turn and I'm not gonna smash him in the head <laughs> Oh, did you miss? I didn't. didn't oh, I, I was a freaking one. I think I hit myself. <laughs> oh. Yeah, that is also a miss. So this <laughs> this guy does this sort of duck and weave <laughs> thing where you guys you guys miss him. Uh, yeah, he's gonna advance towards you. So let's roll uh, roll for another initiative. Oh man. Jeez. Oh, oh okay. Well, you guys can go first. Brains, <laughs> Oh, that is a hit. The eleven is a hit. Eight points of damage. That is probably enough to kill it. Yes. That is enough to kill it. So you smash its head, and it just... Um, down the hallway that you just came from, you hear uh, what sounds like uh, moan more moaning, like just like that creature made. It's coming from several different uh, sources, and it sounds like they're coming down that corridor you guys were just in we try to wake uh, minimus like slap him a little bit come on buddy 
Come on, maybe we, you know, maybe, maybe we need to get in the boat and travel down the river. There's it's no gonna boat. take both of you to look me up in the boat. boat on the we can just <laughs> <laughs> and just right on him. <laughs> Not in the water, but like in remember, the boat. I'm, I'm as big wide as I am tall. <laughs> That's true. Um, yeah uh, let me see I think you can probably make a uh, hold on let me look at your your sheet yeah uh, make a save versus paralysis uh, minimus and see if you wake up I'm just gonna how do I do that uh, you should just be able to click that button on your character sheet the paralysis petrify? Yeah. No, that's a failure. Yeah. He you think he's snoring. He's definitely alive. <laughs> Unconscious he, became. Yeah, he's still still not conscious. <laughs> Should we heave him into the boat? And... Is there a boat? Like I don't understand. Is there, there a is yeah, a boat. There's... Ten feet uh, ten feet off of the beach okay. is a boat uh it is it must be tied to something. Let me see. Well, we have a I have a grappling hook. I can grapple the boat close to us. We can try to get it on the shore and then get in the boat. I mean, if it's a fast if it's a fast moving river, then the boat has to be tied to something. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It says it's moored, so I think you can probably okay. pull the pull rope and and pull it in. Um, Do that. Yeah. All right. Are you guys gonna load Minimus in there? Yeah, I'm gonna use right. my pole like a fulcrum and <laughs> try to get him in there. Just gonna roll him into roll him into the boat. Yeah, yeah. All right, I, I'll leave both of you to both of you both of you to make a both of you make a dexterity check, and as long as one of you passes it, you're able to get him in there. But if if both of you fail, then oh. <laughs> Right. I forgot you. So, go, you want a low uh, roll? Oh, oh yeah, I, I did too. I was like fourteen, yes, and it was like no. I was sorry. like no. I was like oh crap, I'm gonna lose this. Yeah. So Mod- Modrum was was just about was you're able to heave Minimus in, but then you slip and we're just about to hit the water when uh, when uh, Jackie grabs you, and then you guys are both able to jump in the in the boat, uh, and just about as you do that, uh, seven walking corpses come stumbling around the uh, the bend. Uh, onto the onto the uh, the uh, the sandy beach. Ah, brains, brains. Do they just follow us into the water? Like because they're stupid, right? They just... No, they don't. Uh, they're just sort of like uh, kind of stumbling around on the on the okay. beach. Actually, they uh, one of them finds the corpse of uh, of old Greg and starts eating it. Mm. Oh no, he didn't. You kicked him into the water. Never mind. They don't. They're just wandering around then. Trying to figure out where the brains are. So what, what are you going to do? Cut the rope and float down river. <laughs> right. Uh, before we do that, I'm going to ready. I'm going to ready my grappling hook and rope okay. and tie it off to the boat. So if we find a spot we want to land, mm. oh yeah, get out there. Yeah. Or I get hooked onto the boat somehow, and the boat keeps going. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, so let's see. So as soon as you've cut the uh, the rope, the boat, the current starts taking you eastward fairly quickly. So you uh, in just a very short time you see the uh, the beach where you were at before. Do you want to try we, to stop here or keep yeah, going? Yeah, should we try to land here? Yeah, we can. It's not that far away from the uh, zombie horde that apparently is. I think we should try. Well, I don't have a say. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, <laughs> I'm in tune t- t- <laughs> with Minimus mentally. I feel like he is. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, what, what did we have left? Back there was quite a bit of stuff on this side we hadn't looked at yet. Yeah. This will this will probably take us all the way down to where we were about to hit the water before. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Can we can we tell how I mean, how much further it goes? Oh, it seems to. Yeah, it seems to go going. on. 
So should we keep going or try to dock here? Right? Why not? I mean, at least there's no zombies in the water yet. So yeah, that's true. Keep going. We got, we still, we're still at this point. We're still trying to wake him up, right? Yeah. Wake up, Minimus. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, Minimus, make another uh, save versus paralysis. Oh. <laughs> All right, still snoring. How away. low do I have to get? Uh, I think you have to get over that over a fourteen. Oh, it's I thought it was like check is before under. it was low. Oh, above. checks are under, yeah. saves are over. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> uh, okay, so you decided not to. Now we're gonna pass up the one that we know where it goes. All right, let me read about something. Okay. What does the roof look like here? Do we know? I know it's rock, but are there like stalactites and things like that coming uh, down? Yeah, it's a natural. It's a natural cavern. Uh, so worst comes to worst, we could throw our grappling hook up even and try to lock on to like a stalactite or something to slow down the boat or stop the boat. Yeah, you can do that. There are ro or there are. Ro um, there are oars in the boat, so if you wanted to try to row against the current, uh, you can do that with a strength check. Uh, otherwise, you're going to be moving eastward. Um, but yeah, you can you could try to grab onto the, the the side of the wall or a stalactite or anything else if you wanted to, to stop for a while. Um, I'm not exactly sure how this is. This next thing is supposed to be in relation to the river. Uh. I think it just kind of goes into a smaller cavern. Uh, as you go down, as you keep going, uh, almost like a tunnel. Uh, actually, it, so you cruise down this way. Oh, so this is where I don't know. You're just gonna have to pretend you don't see this. Uh, go through a tunnel and then come out the other side hmm. and the next thing you see can't unsee that though like, <laughs> no I'm really interested in that <laughs> <laughs> the next thing you see is a bridge uh, coming up actually I don't know why it's not visible on here but you basically you see a bridge um it is an arch stone stone bridge with no railing and it's 10 foot drop um, into the water and then on each and then the on each side of the bridge are is a passageway basically and straight ahead under the bridge it looks like there are maybe some rapids coming up mm. uh, so there are definitely some rocks uh, in uh, in the river up ahead, in the way of the boat, I I think we should uh, definitely swing the grappling hook up and see if we can grab onto the bridge. And hopefully, we can wake Miniman up. Miniman up, maybe we can climb up the rope. And get out there. It's gonna be kind of heavy to pull him up the rope. Uh, I'm not pulling his ass. He's going down the rapids, and we don't. <laughs> <laughs> All right. About this time, Minimus does actually wake up. Ah, finally. Nice. Okay. Uh, good. So Lee, give, give yourself uh, one hit point. 
and stay in this time and don't poke any dead bodies. You know? <laughs> so, I didn't say I was walking up to it. I said, did we investigate it? And it just decided they could attack me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just not going to say we're doing anything. It's always me first. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm going to throw this grappling hook to, right. to the thing. Make a dexterity. Make a dexterity roll. I'm more dexterous than I am strong. So. But I didn't. Yep, you got oh, it. Success. Oh. Sails up, catches on. So now you can you can climb up onto the bridge, or you can. Uh, well, we have to hold the boat, right? So who's gonna go first? We have to hold the rope and the boat while somebody climbs. Mm -hmm. You can tie it on. Leave it tied on the boat. Yeah, you can tie it onto the boat. <laughs> oh, sure. yeah. oh, okay. 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 All right, so there you go. All right. Um, let's see. I think with with that roll, Madrone can you can get to the top of the bridge. Uh, Jackie and Minimus make a deck save to make sure you don't <laughs> screw them too much. <laughs> it's dexterity. Nope, that was good. So you are. Well, that's close enough. Uh, <laughs> you you slip. And Jackie and Madrone both grab you and they uh, heave you up onto the bridge. Uh, let me see if I can put you onto the bridge. There. Oh, nice. Ooh. So, <clears throat> now we can go down. Man. Yeah, so you can see. Let me give you descriptions of each one of those rooms. Um, now we are in a way completely different area of the map. So to the north, um, no, to the north is, um, it looks, uh, it looks like another stone room with, uh, more statues in it. Only this time it looks like they're statues of ancient queens. Um, and they're all, even from here, you can see, uh, that there are, they're covered in algae. Uh, probably from the from the mist from the the water or something, but yeah, yeah there are um, lots of statues of uh, of queens. Uh, to the south, let's see, that is another stone room, but it it looks like the floor is covered in in uh, rich earth, jet black soil, and there are these large black plants that are filling the room um, and almost even from here you can see that some of them have what looks like some kind of black jet black fruit hanging off of them it's very strange yeah I'm not walking near anything <laughs> I, I think <laughs> I don't know what do we think fruit or statues which one do we think is going to be worse for us to walk near uh, I'm voting south. I'll go. I'll go along with what you what you'd pick. <laughs> Can you, will you go along enough to walk in the front? Sure. Yeah, I'll go. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do the middle. Okay. Stick. And uh, um, yeah, try not to touch it. Actually, hang on. So who who still has a ten foot stick? Do y'all still have your ten foot sticks? I never got a ten foot stick. Oh, okay. I don't think I did either. So uh, that's something you have to roll on. Oh yeah, I do. I have a ten. I got a I got a holy symbol rope sack. I think we did cut them out. Marskin, torch, back did you back. cut yours too? I think we did. did yeah. <laughs> I think we kind of so I can detect whether those fruit are poisonous because I do have poison detecting powder. But what um, if they're not poisonous, but they like explode when you get near them? Like sure. <laughs> That's why you pick one, and if it doesn't blow up, then I can detect it. Well, I was just looking at my stick, and I wanted the longer stick. And then... <laughs> Jackie also cut his sticks in half. So it didn't That's true. <laughs> Does anybody have any lashing? We can make two of our sticks into one big stick, and then we can poke it, you know? <laughs> What do you, what are you trying to 
to pump I'm trying I want to make sure that this room full of plants are not like evil plants that shoot spines or do some other bullshit that we're gonna like really regret walking in there. So shake a plant from a distance, smack a piece of fruit from a distance, poke the ground a little bit, make sure it's not like quicksand or some shit. Yeah, something to make it where before we walk in, we feel maybe uh, overconfidently safe. You know what I mean? So that's uh, <laughs> okay. Trying to protect our our big boy in the back. You know, he's only got one hit point left. He's about to die, so. Right, so, so I only, I, does what it do matter lashing? Do? I use my rope to tie the thing. I don't have any lashing. Uh, I, I got some more rope. <laughs> okay, we're going to tie the, the stick that we broke in half into a slightly longer, <laughs> still shorter than original. It's like a, yeah, like a nine-foot nine, nine, nine stick. Nine-foot stick, right. yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then poke some of the bushes that we can see. You know, uh, see if they're like explode or some weird powder. or so, You know, I, I'm worried. Like, I just don't know. You know, could be anything. Okay. Um so when you hit the plants you notice that uh so first of all they shake like a regular plant would uh those big fruit one of them falls off um uh, but it doesn't blow up or anything um That's a good it, yeah. um, it does kind of rattle weird and you notice you notice that there are some watering cans that are tied onto some of the, the trees <laughs> Um, like with frayed ropes. Um, I guess that didn't work. It didn't pop up the picture on my. Let me see. Okay. Yeah, that's weird. Um, yeah, I'll figure it out before our next. I might. Was supposed to have run something that I didn't. Um, yeah, and. Uh, yeah, some of the, the watering cans just sort of rattle, but yeah, that's it. What are the watering cans in here for? Water the plants. Water the plants? Not that the plants generate water? Okay. What do you think? We can walk in there? <laughs> yeah, I'll walk in. Okay. All right, yeah, you, uh, you make your way in between these uh, plants. There's a passageway. Uh, to the west. Do we want to check out the fruits? Zero fox. I'll pick one up. Yeah, it looks like, I mean, it feels like a tomato, <laughs> but it's just jet black. And like you can even push your finger in a little bit and even the insides is... is so is can I use some of my detect poison powder on it? Sure. Uh, do you remember what the text of that said? Uh, I didn't have any text. So you just, I just <laughs> poison. All right. Well, you know, I guess that it would glow if it was if it was in the uh, if you put it on something that was poisoned and it doesn't it doesn't glow. Cool. Uh, hope. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. boy. How do you feel, man? Yeah. Yeah. So it tastes really good. Uh, you uh, okay? Return. Uh, you gain one hit point if you have lost. Have you lost any hit points? Huh? Uh, well, if he does, I'm gonna eat one too. Well, you might, <laughs> really good. Wait, you might want to wait just one second. Okay. Um, <laughs> so he eats it. He feels good, but his eyes uh, they become <laughs> misty black. Uh, roll a one d three. Three. Okay. So yeah, for for the time being, at least your eyes are jet black. Actually, you can't even tell. Because uh, may maybe your vision is a little darker. It seems a little bit clouded, but the but the other two of you are like, what the hell? His eyes are totally black. Uh, That's the only side what? effect. I think now uh, make a <laughs> roll a d10 and try not to get a one. Okay. Uh, <laughs> no, maybe I don't want to do this. <laughs> oh oh go. yeah, you're good. Like, maybe yeah, you got a ten percent chance. I think you need one. <laughs> so, uh... <laughs> We need the hit points, man. We might hit another ghoul. That's one too, it's one too bad, guys. <laughs> oh, shit. Really black right now. So he's telling me that he can what? still see? Yeah, he can still see. Yeah. All right, I'll, I'll eat one. All right. You now have two hit points. Yay. Uh, <laughs> roll 1d3. I'm a pure pressure sucker. I'll get another one for me. <laughs> Same thing. Okay. And then roll a 1d10 and try not to get 
a one. Exact same rolls. <laughs> All right. What's what's two? Is is two good or bad? Is that something else? As long as you didn't get a one, that's fine. No, I mean I rolled a two on the second one, the one d three. Oh, uh, that's just how many hours your eyes are gonna be. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> Nice. So we're all black eyed and bushy tail. So, um... <laughs> Does it feel like it's a spell or is it a physiological thing? Uh, it's definitely a magical thing. Um, but you, if I didn't lose my damn spell, I could dispel darkness. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this room is a. Can, can we eat more fruit? Are there more fruits? Can you get another hit point? Yeah, you can gather uh, three more if you want. Three more fruit total. And the re-roll re again? Every time you eat, you re-roll. Uh, just roll the, the, D, the D10. Uh, uh. Should I do it? I oh. think so. You need the hit points, man. One way or another. Okay, there we go. I'm up to three now. Halfway. Feeling much better now. You look like shit. <laughs> yeah. You feel much better. Yeah. <laughs> He's got this black like goo all over his face from when he was shoving the tomatoes. Other than that, and his eyes are totally black. But besides that, I'm gonna take two of these with me. Okay. Yeah, that's all a right. good idea. Yeah, put them on, or, or, put them on your. How seat. many miscellaneous? Um, so you said we could have two left. Two. That's a good idea. Or we can plant them in a garden. Ooh, yeah, maybe we can build more. Be good for a. For a, like a tavern, fried black tomatoes. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> Only minor side effects. <laughs> may or may not kill yeah. you. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Must sign waiver. <laughs> so as you're gathering up these tomatoes, you notice these uh, uh, the the can watering cans have started to sort of shake. Seems to be getting a little bit. Agitated. Uh, yeah, it starts out just a little. You barely notice it, and then it starts getting more and more. I said we can get the fuck out of here. That sounds weird. Yeah. Let's get out. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Which way are you running? Uh, not the way we came. But yeah, yeah. East. No. Okay. Yeah. West, I guess. Oh, yeah, west. That's what I mean. Um, west. East. Yeah. <laughs> so, just as you kind of duck out of the room, you think you see some sort of like shape, like like almost like a shadow. Uh, materialize uh, in between some of the trees, um, but it doesn't seem to be following you. It seems to be staying in that in that room. Oh, uh, good. Yeah, yeah. He don't want to die. That's fine. He so, knows it's good. For him. He won't follow us. <laughs> like, try the fruit. <laughs> <laughs> so you make your way down this corridor. The 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 the, um, the walls are covered in this black thorny ivy. It was kind of like the same ivy that was covering the walls of the last room you were in. And every once in a while, you see one of those uh, those fruits uh, hanging here. Uh, if you wanted to gather up in a, another uh, three of them, you can you can gather up three. That's how we gather them and keep them on our. Yeah, I think so. I'll keep. Them. I got five of them now. I'll just I can carry them unless you guys want to split them or something. But I got all five right now. That's fine. Okay. So now you come we to know. this uh, area where there is a uh, kind of a stairway uh, to the north. That goes up. Um, I think you can see it on the map. I still have my my extra long pointy stick. I'm gonna like tap the <laughs> tap the stairs, you know. Mm -hmm. Search for traps. All right, let me see what that is. Twenty nine. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. This is this is a weird one. Um, yeah, so if you look up, just you can just barely see uh, it kind of the stairs kind of level off, and you can see what looks like um, uh, trees, but even bigger, uh, even more vegetation than the room you were just in. Uh, and you can poke at the first couple of stairs with your stick, and it, nothing seems to, to, to happen. Um, so you can, can we see a it, is there a statue or anything in the middle? Yeah. Like, um, from here, you can't. You can just see the glimpse of uh, a glimpse of just of what looks like, uh, okay. kind of a golden light. 
There'll be yeah. shiny stuff ahead. Yeah, let's go. Mm -hmm. That sounds good. Maybe loots. Okay, so you're moving up the stairs? Mm -hmm. Yep. Alright. Okay, so this is a natural cavern with 40 foot high ceilings. Uh, you can hear, you can feel this sort of rumbling uh, that you think is probably the river going underneath this area, uh, mm. kind of where you guys went through that tunnel. Um, it's basically a subterranean jungle, and it's filled with these jet black plants and trees uh, that are like 30 feet tall, completely filling this room. Um, you can hear these kind of gentle chirping sounds uh, from within the trees. Uh, yeah, and in the center of the room is a, a giant bronze statue. Uh, it's a it's a big it's a giant fat man, and he's in he's twenty foot feet tall, and he's he's in this kind of benevolent posture, smiling with his with cross sitting cross legged. Um, let's see where is. The do you recognize who it is? Uh, I, I don't think you do. I think this must be some sort of hero or old god or something. Um, and yeah, that's as far as you can see. the The back of the room is sort of hidden in, in foliage and shadow. If we peer into the trees and bushes, can we see what's making the chirping noise? Yeah, you can kind of kind of duck down, try to look underneath the the branches, and you can see what looks like glowing yellow eyes inside the trees. And and as they see you, they sort of dart back. Um, hmm. You should offer them one of the fruits. You sure, but they're like the protectors of the fruits. Yeah. Well, maybe that's what they eat. Okay, so I will. I don't know. What do you think? Jump down, whatever. Can I? Uh, yeah, I don't know. Put, put gonna... it on my stick. Put it on my <laughs> stick and stick it into the hole. Okay, you're gonna just sort of put it towards the the trees. Yeah. Yeah, where we see the glowing eyes. Where the glowing eyes were. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of weird. So this this thing, like the branches part a little bit, and this thing like jumps down, and at first you think, oh, it's a it's a little baby. It looks it looks just like a baby. It's like chubby and cute, but then it kind of turns towards you, and it has these glowing yellow eyes, and then it kind of smiles, and it has these like vicious looking needle fangs in its mouth, and it grabs the fruit and it ducks back into the tree. Bad baby. Uh, bad baby. Bad baby. Bad <laughs> baby. Uh, I'm fuck with that guy. <laughs> uh, maybe they think we're good now, though. <laughs> hmm. Do we proceed in this room with the bad babies? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess, right? Like, what, is there anything to the... Can we can we walk up to the, the big Buddha guy and see yeah. what... Is over there. So as you walk forward, you notice that the ground, um, the ground is sort of loosely turned, like you can, you almost think that, uh, almost like it's been dug up or something in places. Uh, hmm. You think you might could could dig in the ground and, and maybe find something. Yeah, I say, I'll, yeah, let's do that. All right, I have not been keeping track of turns. So let's say three have gone by. Uh, so you can spend one turn now. You're going to run out of your torch and have to light another torch. Uh, do you want to do that? Yeah, yeah I'll, okay. ta I'll take one off. Okay, so I light a torch yeah. and then... Uh, let's see. Okay, so everybody who's digging, roll uh, D6 and try to get a one. Let me know if you get a one. Nope. Uh, nope. Mm -mm. 
Yo. Okay. okay. Now let's see. Roll another d6 to see what you unearthed. Just him or all of us? No, just Lee. You find a small hand mirror in the dirt. And uh um, still have a hand attached? <laughs> no. Uh, baby hand. <laughs> it's getting creepy. Uh, when you look Poor at your baby. when you look at yourself in the mirror though, it's like you're it's like for a second you have like a skull face. Uh and then it sort of vanishes and it's just your regular face. And I you know, something tells you this is has some magical ability, uh, probably pertaining to undead, but uh besides that. Can I look at other people like over my shoulder? Like look at Chris, look at Yeah, it's the same thing. It like it shows it, it almost shows like them as a skeleton and then that skeleton vanishes and it's just them. Or it sort of it doesn't just vanish, it sort of like goes like it flies away. It's very strange. Huh. Interesting. Uh you think you see something in the very back of the room, but you just can't quite make it out. Well, let's go investigate. Oh, Unless you want to <laughs> dig some more. You can also oh, dig some more if you want. I want to dig some more. I want to find something. <laughs> All right. Let me check out the turn. All right. Everybody roll a d6. Tell me if you can get it. Ooh, there's a one. Nope. Wah, wah. I guess so. All right. So. There. We each got something. Hey. Good job, Jackie. Uh, d6 as well. All right, so who was that? Was that? I rolled a two, and Carl rolled a one. Okay, two. You find a chain, uh, and as you start pulling on the chain, the you finally it pulls out of the dirt. It's a three foot diameter iron sphere on the end of this chain. Um, Sounds like he uses a weapon. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> Uh, and then what was the other thing you what, Carl what did you roll a one a uh, one um, you find a corpse uh, it looks like <laughs> yeah. it's got 229 Aww. gold pieces and five uh. arrows what happens when I look at the corpse through the mirror uh, no, nothing special okay. so I have, I have a three foot diameter sphere Made of iron. Oh. <laughs> yes. It's very heavy. Uh, hey, uh, I don't know how you pulled it out of the ground, but that's pretty badass, <laughs> dude. Min Minimus, can you carry this? Like, giant, right? so, like, I'm not any stronger than you are. I'm just fat. Oh, I thought you were just like giant. Like, <laughs> no, I got a, fat, a seven muscle. strength. <laughs> this is the Lord's fat here. I'm, I'm a friar, not a warrior. <laughs> So I can't actually carry this thing. <laughs> no, probably not. Okay, they'll eat. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you kind of peek around uh, to the back of the room, and sure enough, there is a four-foot-tall stone plinth uh, that's bathed in golden light, um, and it's. Yeah, there's like a 10 foot diameter pool of light that surrounds this thing. And on top of this thing is a chalice. Uh, yeah, it looks like, a, and, and you can't tell from here, uh, you know, what's in the chalice, but there's definitely, it's definitely a very shiny, expensive looking chalice on top of a stone plinth. Ooh, you gotta get something that weighs the exact same. <laughs> But we already unearthed the iron ball that would have crushed us, so we're good. <laughs> uh, you unearthed one ball that would have oh, crushed us. Oh, shit. <laughs> uh, I want to take the stick that I have and poke it into the light. See what happens if you break the beam of light. Um, okay. <laughs> your nine foot pole is now a seven foot pole <laughs> <laughs> and on fire <laughs> hey but we don't need another torch now yeah, yeah. that's true <laughs> um, yeah I think as soon as you do that let's see 
Angels from heaven come down and kill us oh. all. <laughs> yeah. It's fucking creepy cherubs. Yeah, 2d6. Okay, three evil babies. Uh, evil tree babies come leaping out tree of, babies. of the darkness. Uh, let's see. We'll call them number one, number two, and number three. Don't they realize we have black eyes too? We are we're evil as well. <laughs> no, they have golden eyes. Yeah, they have. Uh, yeah, yellow, uh, glowing yellow eyes and needle fangs, and uh, <laughs> uh, I think there is. I think there's a picture of these guys on the front cover. Yeah, let me uh, let me grab it. Oh, this is awful, this picture. <laughs> <laughs> they literally are babies with going on. <laughs> yeah, they're evil tree babies. Um, and there are three of them. And they leap towards you. Uh, and they're like hissing with their teeth. And they attack. Specifically, they're, they're heading towards... Uh, Chris for breaking their, um, you know, getting too close to their. their I'm chalice. about to break this stick up off their ass. So <laughs> there's not there. any, uh, no no spells yet, right? So, uh, yeah, I guess we just go straight to initiative. <clears throat> All right, yeah, you guys are definitely going first. Uh, let me find our stats together. If I must. Get to kill some babies this episode. So this, this stick is now <laughs> nine feet long. Like if I connect, it's gonna hit way harder than me at like five feet. Can I do like double damage or something? That or is as if your lashing was good. The lashing has made it from numerous pokey things. <laughs> it's at least good for one hit before it, I would think before it breaks. You know. And you're a baby. You're a six pound, you know, six pound, eight ounce baby, <laughs> you know, baby Jesus or something, you know. So. Yeah, these uh, these might be closer to ten pound. Uh, oh, babies. little bowling ball baby. So yeah. a few months old. <laughs> yeah. All right. So you guys are going first. Uh, what would you like to do? Here? Uh, stab one. Yes. <laughs> stab some babies. I, I said what I want to do. I'm going to swing this sucker around and smack the shit out of whichever one. Well, you, you go All first. Right. Yeah. Yeah. See if I can just yeah. fall at somebody with a nine. The first one? Yeah. 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 All right. Yeah. Hey, better, 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 better. Swing, better. <laughs> uh, all right. The melee. That is a total miss. Uh, I'll just go ahead and tell you they have an AC of 12, so you need to hit it at 12 to succeed. Uh, yes, yeah, so he just, he just sort of <laughs> dodges out of the way. Uh, Dang it. Jackie or Minimus? I'm trying to get to mine. I just swung and, swung and a miss. Oh, okay. <laughs> I poked a baby. Hey, that's a hit. One point of damage. One. <laughs> Does he cry? <laughs> it almost looks like he's going to. He kind of. <laughs> <laughs> I feel bad. I'm, like, I'm so sorry. <laughs> and then he's like, <laughs> and leaps towards you. Not sorry anymore. Not sorry anymore. Right, so this... <laughs> sorry, this not is... sorry. This is the one on uh, Minimus. How the hell does a baby get a better AC than I do? That's a mess. <laughs> That's a mess. <laughs> You just kind of dodge out, and he just lands. Ha! Uh, this is Baby's not good. <laughs> this is the one on Jackie. Oh. Uh-oh, was that a hit? Uh, is your AC 14? Uh, 17. Oh, okay. That's a miss. And then the last one. Uh, <laughs> uh, that's oh. a hit. 
So that's little needle teeth do one point of damage to you. One? Okay. Alright, initiative now. Nice. All right, you guys got it again. <clears throat> I want to swing again if I can while you guys got them distracted. No, I'm just... Yeah. Come on, big stick. Woohoo! That is a hit. Nice. Should be like double, right? Because it's coming from nine feet away. That is a lot of speed. <laughs> we did do twice as many hit points as. Uh... They have? Oh. As Minimus did. Uh, are you attacking the same one that Minimus did uh, hit, or one of the other two? Attack whichever one I can hit with my swinging nine foot stick. Oh, okay, that'll be one of the other two then. You can hit the one that that actually did some damage last time. For four, or just two? Just two. Uh, oh, Jackie. Huh. So, is are you attacking the same one, or? Uh... Uh, I guess I'm attacking a different one. Okay. Yeah, you actually cut one right, right in half. Uh, the, mid, the, the middle one is dead. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. It's got three points total now. Yeah, you did one point before. Yep. Right? And then it took two that time. Okay. Yeah, it's still alive, but it's like kind of woozy. Um. Uh, let me see what their morale is. <clears throat> what did I say it was last time? It was, oh, ML8. I don't know. They're not gonna, they're not gonna quit though. They're keep going. Alright, initiative. Oh wait, I know that's their turn because you guys want initiative. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, okay, so we still got the one on the one on Minimus. He's going to try to bite again with his needle teeth. How hard is it just to not like hold their head away? They'll be like, no. That's, That's a no. Baby. Probably a mess. Obviously, pretty easy. <laughs> <laughs> Stop it. And now <laughs> one on he's on Jackie. He's going Punt to him across Jackie. the three. <laughs> Uh oh, for a hit. Damn! Four, that was a bad Ooh, ass. four oh. points. He oh, rips shit. a big old chunk that out of hurt. your arm. That hurt. Blood going all down his little baby <laughs> baby chest and his baby <laughs> chin. <laughs> Alright, now we'll do initiative. All right, you guys go first. <laughs> That's what's happening. Get off! Get off! <laughs> they're, they're, we just need to give them some teething rings. That's the problem. I'm, I'm, I'm. I've got my dagger yeah. still. I'm gonna, I'm gonna drop the stick, and I'm just gonna run up and stab the one that I hit before. I guess. Okay. I'm next to. I didn't hit it. No. That is a miss. Oh, natural 20. Ooh, nice. Uh, which one? Was, uh, I guess the one that, that attacked you. Yeah, it is dead. Cuts <laughs> <laughs> a little chubby, a little baby arm twitch a little bit, and then it's finally still. That is also a hit. Three points. That is enough to kill it as well. There's one left, right? No, that's oh, it, that's it, all it, three. It, it, it. Uh, you do hear some rustling in the trees, but nothing else immediately, at least, comes out to to attack you. Oh. <laughs> Grab the yeah. chalice and go. <laughs> the chalice and go. <laughs> all right, so you. Uh, you realize as soon as you grab it that the chalice is made of platinum and sapphire uh so it's probably worth a crap ton of money um, and it's also full of water nope don't care i mean should i risk it and take a drink no use your poison powder shit on it 
I've already used up my poison powder. I don't know if we can use it more than once. I only had one. No, yeah, I think you can only have one. Oh. You sprinkled half of it. It was like. Little... All right, I'm going to flip a coin, and if it's heads, I'm drinking. I'm down. Two. So, one, I'm drinking, two, I'm not. Okay. <laughs> there you go. Right. You just. <laughs> <laughs> want to slam it. I cough it because, you know, I like beer, and this looks like it would hold some good drink. Yeah, yeah, so. it's definitely a good, a good, a good chalice for drinking. Uh, you actually heal two d eight hit points. <laughs> wow! Is uh, there any left in the chalice? <laughs> <laughs> nope, no. Just scraping the side. <laughs> yeah, look at the ball. You know, <laughs> there we go. I'm full. <laughs> so it also has the ability to restore to life a person who has died within the last twenty four hours. So oh, even wow. if you had died before, awesome. your friends could bring you back now. Um, yeah. So okay, you've got the. You've, is that got any, any time it's full of water we just fill it up and can bring people back alive you could try that but you're thinking probably not um, oh it's just that something one about that yeah. um, it was cherub tears <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so make sure you put a platinum chalice uh, somewhere in your inventory because it's worth 2,000 gold pieces oh <sighs> Is this the game that we do money as experience? Yes, yes. Yeah, uh, gold pieces. Is it. You got that, Lee? No, I was going to let y'all put it in there. Oh, okay. I got the benefit of the water. I'll carry the platinum chalice. That's fine. I kind of want to... Can we test something, though, before we like leave? Can I put a black tomato in it and put it back in the sunlight? <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, you could do that. Uh, maybe, maybe it's something to do with the, the sun in that particular column, you know, and, and the stuff. Yeah, as you as you reach back in the sunlight, you notice some of the trees shaking, but oh. nothing jumps out at you. Okay, um, okay. Mm. Nothing, nothing seems to happen really. Yeah. Okay. Well, experiment number sixty-six. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um... All right, are you going back into the hallway, or where do you want to go? Well, I don't know if we. Yeah, I don't know if we head out of this hallway. I think we can turn to the west and go, and we meet back up in that one area we were before. Yeah. When we're gonna go through. Yeah, you can test that theory mm -hmm. out real fast. You can down there. Um, you get to this point though, right here. Uh, let me see. A bunch of ghouls. So there's a uh, mm. there's an archway, a six foot high archway, and it's covered in trees. Uh, it's like the arches are formed from intertwining branches, uh, and sprawled on the floor. Um, actually, let's see, I think it's yeah, it's just past the archway is. Uh, it looks like a, a dwarf, um, a, a, a dead dwarf, sprawled on the floor. Well, That's last time there was a dead thing, it was a trap. So I'm going to think it's a trap here. It won't happen again. That's unlucky. Let's just keep going. No. <laughs> <laughs> that dude just had a heat stroke as he walked through. Fool me So I'll use my giant tapping stick and tap around in there, see if I can find a trap or something. Okay. Uh, tap the floor, yeah, as, tap the walls, tap the ceiling. As you stick your uh, your stick through the uh, archway, this um, thorny ivy that's growing on the archway itself lashes out and tries to hit your stick. It's not good. Uh, it, it misses, <laughs> but but it's like it tried to. I have a dagger. I don't think that's really like a well, if we, tool. I think. Why well, don't we put the torch to it? Oh, let's do it. Um, yeah, I think. So this specifically says it is unharmed by fire, but that doesn't make any sense to me. I I think it I think it catches and burns, and it makes this sort of uh, little like high pitched squealing noise as it like. Yeah. As it <laughs> that's creepy. Kind of twitches and then it and then it falls. <laughs> So you can continue on to the uh, to the dwarf corpse if you'd like. Mm -hmm. 
Anybody yeah. want to search the dwarf court? Yeah, loot yeah. the dwarf course. Yeah, so I'm gonna says... push him with the stick first. Hang on. Okay. Hit him with the stick first. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna look at the mirror and see if he's a zombie. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, no, nothing happens in the mirror. Okay, okay. Uh, <laughs> check his pocket. He has a, it. Says it specifically says he has a ginger beard that goes down to his knees. So you probably have to move your stick and, and move his beard a little bit. You can see that he uh, there's a cord of black vine that's wrapped really tight around his throat. It seems to have have, uh, had, had, seems to have killed him. Um, looting his body, you find scratched leather armor, 20 gold pieces, uh, and 42 silver pieces wrapped up in the toe of his left boot. And in a pocket, you find a scribbled note that says, the river ghouls could be tricked out of their treasure, question mark. The river ghouls could be tricked out of their treasure. <laughs> Chris, do you do you have armor on? Uh, I don't. I have a left glove and a left boot. Yeah, I think I you found those. I think you're a wizard. I don't think wizards can wear armor. I don't think Friar can either. How much gold do we find again? I'm trying to do the thing and, and add. Uh, so silver pieces. Twenty gold pieces silver. and forty-two silver. Okay, so that's twenty-four. Trick out of their treasure. And there's something about fishing earlier. Hmm. <clears throat> Was that the treasure, though, that we just found? Hmm. But we didn't have to trick anybody. We killed some babies. So I don't know if that's not what well, We haven't explored. If we go east and then go north, we haven't explored that room with the statues across the bridge. True. Oh, so a cleric? Are you? No, you're a friar, aren't you? From the Dolmen yeah. book. Uh, okay, let me find that real quick. Uh, settings. Oh. Player's book. Character classes. Friar. Uh, oh yeah, you can. Friars can wear no. Can't wear any armor. Um, and I'm pretty sure that's going to be the same with the magic user. Yeah. No. And did the dwarf have any weapons? No, uh, it says he doesn't, but I'm thinking he probably had a battle axe. Oh, I don't think I could use a battle axe either. <laughs> uh, club, stuff. dagger, staff, and sling are the only ones you can yeah. use. <clears throat> you can go ahead and uh, open this door here, and it, it opens back up to the the room you started in. The Hall of Kings. We all think. Uh, we can go back to the Queens if you want. We already checked the Kings. Right? I like well, there's idea. a door behind the Kings we never opened. Oh, okay. We did that then. I mean, it's up to y'all. I'm down. Either way. I am down either way. Uh, we're, we're closer to just doing the kings. Let's go to the kings. Yeah, let's go to this one. Okay. We just got to keep an eye out for all the ghouls running in the halls. Yeah. Okay, let me read the description. That is... We went to the door behind the king's girl. Okay. Um, it's okay. So yeah, still still made of stone blocks. Um, sure enough, straight down the corridor. I don't know. Can you see that? You can see down there. There's another one of those great arches. This time, uh, still six foot high, but this one is curved with serpents. Uh, the arches are formed of three intertwined serpents. Um, Fire it. Okay. Is there a dead dead venture behind? <laughs> uh, uh, somebody roll me a uh, actually Lee roll me a one one d six. <coughs> Try to get a five or a six. Okay. Yeah, you don't see anything um, until you get very close. 
And then, <laughs> surprise! <laughs> In grabbing range. <laughs> um, uh -oh. Guys, why did we not use the stick? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say he walked up to it. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Well, as you as you get past, well, let me see. So, are you? Well, uh, kind of already spoiled it, haven't I? Uh, let me tell you what you can see as you look through that uh, archway uh, towards thirteen. Uh, there, it looks like a statue straight ahead uh, of a hunter and two hounds. And uh, he has a bow in his hand and a sword in his belt, and there are two hounds laying uh, at his feet. Um, mm, and then uh, the, you can, there's something on the north and south, but you can't see um, can't see what it is. Uh, and then uh, just as you think there is nothing in this corridor, uh, a giant crab spider drops down. <laughs> Right on the other side of the arch. Uh, it has uh, red eyes that glint in the darkness. And to your surprise, it screams out in common uh, something about sucking out your innards. Uh, hmm. That's not very nice. Yeah, and then it comes barreling towards you. When he gets through the arch, does the arch do anything to it? No, yeah, it doesn't. It goes right through. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's bullshit. All right, let's do initiative. Get it, Carl. Okay. Thirty-six. This one, this one could be bad. Uh oh. oh shit. Mm -mm. All right, I'm just gonna say in the order you are on the overlay. One, two, three. Six. That means Chris it is going to attack. Uh, it is going to do try to do a bite with poison. Let's see. It's got eight hit points. Ooh, this is bad. This is this is bad. He's okay. a nasty. This is bad. Okay. All right. <laughs> okay. He's gonna attack. Drone, Ooh, barely misses with this. It's like got these really like nasty really, looking teeth, and they're he is just like not even close. Dude, learn to target better. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. So, yeah, while trash close, talk the spider. Well, he's close to get me. I'm gonna stab in up near his mandible and see if I can stab in his fleshy bits with uh, my <laughs> dagger. Okay, go for it. He's got an AC of 12. Is that a sea bass? Oh, I was 18 for like a split second. No, you 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 get a pretty decent <clears throat> blow in, but it you hit this kind of uh, carapace that's almost like like metal. It's like it just doesn't even doesn't even affect. I want to go it. go for one of its eyes. You know, I'm sure it has multiple eyes, but yep, that is a miss. Yeah, it just sort of turns its head and I'll it, follow up. And also oh miss. man, this is not good. Up. Oh shit! You also go for its head, and it just blocks it with one of its uh, its armored legs. This thing is a ninja crab spider. <laughs> She's like, ching, 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 ching. feast, innards, eat. All right, roll. <laughs> oh, you got it again. <sighs> All right, we're gonna roll randomly again, and Chris still gets it. Come on. Comes in for another bite. Uh, uh, an 11. That's a hit. Yeah, that's just barely a hit. Uh oh. Come on, roll one. Roll a one. Let's see. Roll a one. Ooh, Not a six, six points. One. Yeah. One. Uh, I am down. Before I fall, I take out a black fruit and I shove it in my mouth. <laughs> 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 Uh, no, you're down. And nope. uh, roll, a, roll a 1d4. 
<laughs> I don't think we're going to be able to take this thing. I don't know. It's the end of our party, guys. Right. <laughs> no. Uh, I'll try to swing it. I want to. I want to. I want. Oh. oh. God. That's a mess. Yeah. yeah. I want to grab Chris by you know this collar and start backpedaling to get through this door. Okay. Yeah, you can make it into the Hall of Kings Dragon uh, Dragon Multi. Yeah. With is Carl go, going with me or is he there? Yeah, I'll come back turn. up and I'm like trying yeah. to swing it. I want to slam the in. door, sl slam the door closed, and then wedge it with something like a piece knock of knock over one of those statues and like put. Yeah, you can door. try to knock over a statue. Uh, yeah, you can definitely hear it clawing at the door. What was the ogre's name that you charmed, Chris? I don't know. We can call for him to come. Yeah, we can call for him to come help us, saying that we're trying to get his halflings that we told him we'd deliver to him, but this damn spider's <laughs> in our way. <laughs> he might be friends with the spider crab, though. He could so, be. I don't know. That's, that's, that's a good point. Though. That's a good point. We'd be <laughs> fucked either way. <laughs> He's like, oh, you mean Jerry? <laughs> yeah, I love so. Jerry's I love that guy. Right? Love Jerry. That's my Talk to Jerry for us. Tell you're your friends. <laughs> oh, fucking Jerry. <laughs> All right. All right, Chris. Might... Uh, I'm down. In my pockets, I have tomatoes. But I am unconscious. Were you at right at zero, or were you at uh, a negative? Maybe down straight to zero. No, straight to zero. <laughs> All right. Oh, we, can, we can shove a tomato in his mouth and, and like, mash his jaw on it. <laughs> you can baby, baby bird. Baby bird. <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking baby birding. <laughs> We're not baby birding. Somebody back to life. <laughs> All right. Yeah, so it works. Madrome, you now have one hit point. One hit point. Uh, roll a d10, though. Let's see. Your eyes are back to being red, by the way. Oh, that was oh no, no! You you oh, feel Carl. like you like you really like these tomatoes. Like I do like these tomatoes. Not so like, much where one. mechanically you must have them, but you definitely think that <laughs> you definitely well, like I'm them. I'm gonna take another shot. Okay. <laughs> right. Two hit points now. All right. Give myself let's a little pull more. A, let's pull a statue over. Yeah, let's do it. All right. Uh, Let's do a similar thing where before you make two strength checks, and if as long as you make one of them, you each, each make a strength check. Uh, as long as you make one. Eight. Hey, there you go. I made it too. Wow. Yeah. So you guys are able to like shove over that that one statue to where it blocks the door, uh, and after a little while, you can you can hear the spider sort of scuttle off. Uh, and, and give up. Maybe we should just like go cash in our winnings at this point. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. We're close to where we know where the exit is. At this point, what do you guys what was, think? What was the purpose of coming? Oh, we just found a giant hole and jumped in. We just we were lost yeah. in the forest, and we came across this. Yeah, I mean, tree. in theory, when you come out, you're still going to be lost in the forest. <laughs> but, but we'll have with a lot of money. Right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you'll have some 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 loot with you for sure. I don't know. I'm down for whatever. You almost died. I almost died. Yeah, I'm hurting pretty bad. <laughs> yeah. Maybe once we level up later, we can come kick this this place's ass. <laughs> If we right. find it, if we can find yeah. it again. Leave some breadcrumbs. <laughs> and leave some back yeah. Okay. That. Uh, so yeah. You you remember the way out. Uh, leave uh, a trail of tomato splatters. Okay. There is a problem though. After two turns go by. So. Um, oh shit. Okay. So you make it past that corpse. Come down here. Probably should be rolling for wandering monsters, but um, come back through here. Okay, this is when that poison from the spider's bite kicks in. Uh, oh, uh -oh. To me. so yeah, yeah. So Modrum, I'm gonna need you to make a save versus poison with a plus two bonus. 
Save versus poison. With the, how do I do a plus two bonus? Situational mm -hmm. modifier, just do plus two. Yeah, I think I think that's probably what we want. Nice. That's good. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Fuck that crab spider. You did not die. <laughs> Again? I would have just tried to kill me or what? Yeah, save causes death in 1d4 turns. Oh, um, shit. Wow. Okay. Yeah, that's that's nice. intense. Yeah, but the spider only had eight hit points, though, but you guys just couldn't hit it. Um, so. All right, well, let's say you were able to climb back out of the, uh, the hole. And then uh, we will we'll call it there for tonight. And then next time you guys can try to make your way back to town. Um, or, I don't know, did you guys have camping gear? I guess you had camping gear and all that stuff. So worst case, um, you can probably... No, uh, I don't think we don't do. think so. Mm. I, I don't mean, even have the grappling hook and rope anymore. I don't think. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't delete that now. Yeah, you left that on the I boat. do have some food. Yeah. I have caraway buns and cheese. And yeah, I have, I have some some rations. Mm -hmm. I had rations. Is all I'll I have got. rations. Yeah, one ration. All right. Yeah. So first thing we'll do next time, uh, which uh, I'm not sure when next time will be, but when we when uh, when we need the backup game again, uh, will be to determine if you either camp out or if you try to find the uh, travel to the to the nearest town, which is probably going to be Prigwart, and then uh, yeah, from then we will from there we'll. You can either try to find this dungeon again, or we can, you know, find out what's happening in Prigwart, get some rumors, and, and move on from there. Oh, yeah. So, cool. Good. Nice. Well, well, thanks for playing. It was That's nice fun. to get a yeah. game in That's after cool. all this time. <laughs> Almost forgot what it was like. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Hopefully Jesse will be so, back wow. and we can play D&D &D next week. So. Yep, yep. For sure. All right, well, later, guys. All right. Thanks. Later. Yeah. later. Bye. Thanks, Cody.